Hey everyone, it's Dev from above, welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a look at the second part of the uh, cruiser's guide which is about heavy cruisers. Last week part 1 was about light cruisers and next week part 3 will be about map awareness. A really, really interesting topic. Let's get started. So we'll be using the Hipper for that guide which is your typical heavy cruiser and the role of a heavy cruiser on the battlefield is to be a force multiplier. A force multiplier, so you're not a light cruiser, you are not as mobile and as nimble as a light cruiser but you do have bigger guns and that implies that you will play a slightly different role on the battlefield. So let's get started with the rules with rule number one. Always move with support and ideally the support of a battleship so you are still a cruiser, you're still a support ship um, and you are meant to be a force multiplier but you need the force to begin with so here on the right part i only have a destroyer and another cruiser which is a chapayev which is not going to be really really helpful to me when it comes to tanking so i'm immediately going to rejoin my battleship on the left part of the battlefield and i will see what i can do there i'm not even going to go scout or engage on the right part simply because it will take me too much time to retreat if there is another battleship there and i will take too many hits and unfortunately Generally, heavy cruisers do not have the armor to withstand battleship shells. That's going to take us to rule number two, which is know your targets, a bit like light cruisers, except your targets are a bit different as a heavy cruiser. So your main target, your primary target is other cruiser. There is only one on the enemy team, that's the Cleveland right in front of us, and we're going to be focusing him. Uh, the reason why you want to prioritize uh, destroying cruisers is that your guns are a bit bigger than light cruisers, so they will usually overpen destroyers and they won't be able to consistently pen battleships. So cruisers are your main target. Your armor is also not going to be able to withstand battleship shells, but you should be doing fine against other cruisers and especially light cruisers. So you see that that Cleveland was not able to significantly damage us and we are able to consistently put damage into him, getting full pens with 900 damage. So here the Cleveland is going to do the right thing, he's going to go back to his team uh, well, with a little bit of health, <laughs> a little bit less health than at the beginning of the engagement, but he's doing the right thing, he's going to seek support from his battleships, he's going to go back towards them and that's going to take us to rule number 3, which is never engage a battleship alone. And simply because you do not have the armor to be engaging a battleship and you do not have the guns as well. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna notice that it takes a little bit more time to be disengaging than if you were a light cruiser because you are simply less maneuverable, less nimble, you are also a bigger target. So they will have a really, really easy time hitting you and I'm gonna get punished right now. I've already been punished quite enough, I've lost almost half of my health. And while I'm running away, I take a couple of hits and it's really, really time for me to be disengaging those two battleships and to rejoin the rest of my team. You notice that disengaging does not mean stop firing, it simply means presenting a smaller target or changing direction so that they cannot hit you anymore. Here they're behind an island, it did not change direction, the limit, so I can still keep hitting him. While the Bismarck cannot anymore, he doesn't see me, he has no idea where I am, so for the moment I am absolutely safe. And let's say that you cannot disengage, there are a couple of things that you can do to improve your survivability. The first one is to position yourself next to a ship of your fleet to confuse the auto aim. The second one, which, I'm doing, which I am doing right now, is simply moving back and forth. And the Lenin just fired the shot anticipating I would be moving forward and he completely misses and that keeps me in the game. Now that we're safe, we do not have any immediate threat or anything to shoot at, so we can rejoin the rest of the fleet. And we see how we're positioned, and we're right in the middle of three ships, one battleships, and a cruiser and another destroyer. So we really, really position ourselves in a way to be able to support uh, any one of them, and that's what we will be doing right now. We will be using our role of force multiplier. 
So let's see what our guns can do against that Bismarck. We fire a couple of shells and we get a couple of penetrations. The Bismarck is stopping, so we're going to be able to test our 220mm guns on the main armor belt. And let's see what we can do. And we deal absolutely no damage. So even though you have bigger guns than a light cruiser, you are still not able to engage battleships reliably on your own. And that's going to take us to rule number four, which is focus fire. Focus fire is quite simple, uh, it's something I keep hitting in my videos, but once you have a teammate who's indicating that he's hitting a target, and that's especially uh, true with cruisers, you want to focus that target as well. So here, one of our teammates, Tintin, which you might remember from the previous light cruiser video, that was the MVP guy, is indicating he's focusing on the Monarch, and we will do that as well, and we will try to take him down as quickly as we can, because we are two cruisers against two battleships and it's not going control. to go well for us if we do not change anything. So rule number 5, M4 weak spots. Um, was not able to reliably pen the main armor belt of the Monarch, but now that I'm focusing on hitting the rear of the ship, the weaker part of the armor, you see that immediately I get full pens and that's going to take him down. I do not need to be thinking twice when I'm going to be targeting that Cleveland because he does not have enough armor to withstand my 203mm shells and we're going to be able to finish him quite easily. So you see how well heavy cruisers perform against other cruisers and how poorly they perform against other battleships if you are not trying to hit the right area. So let's, let's try that again with the Bismarck, shall we? Uh, I'm going to be trying to hit the uh, front of the ship there and that's not going to hit us something reliable so I'm going to focus on the rear now that's a little bit too much on the left now should be better and still despite hitting the rear of the Bismarck we only get half penetration so those ships are really really not meant to go against battleships on their own so there you go, end of the battle, end of the guide. We've played our role quite well, which was primarily to engage and destroy enemy cruisers and then act as a force multiplier when engaging battleships or destroyers. Uh, we get rewarded with an MVP badge, but it was not a very, very high damage game, and that, in a sense, is the nature of cruiser gameplay. You are a support ship if you want to be consistently dealing damage or being MVP, play battleships, play CVs, play destroyers, but simply do not play cruisers. So that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a couple of interesting things. Next week will be the final installment of my cruiser's guide, which will be about map awareness. In the meantime, do not hesitate to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. That was Def from above signing out.